and recording. All right, hey everyone, this is Rosh Lam, and this is my final project for music and audio programming. Uh, this is an accelerometer controlled synth, um, where the accelerometer uh, modifies the um, output characteristics of the synth and also triggers um, motion controlled uh, samples. And so um, here we have what the keyboard side of the synth is, and this is the accelerometer board, which is on a separate board and has a flexible wire for freedom of movement. And these are all wired to the Bella microcontroller. And for today's demo, um, it's the sound output is wired to this um, guitar amp. Uh, and so I'm going to start off by talking about what the um, keyboard side does. Then I'm going to go over the different functions of this um, accelerometer. Uh, and so starting off with the sound design of the keyboard, um, the core sound is a sawtooth wave, which is done with wave, tab wave tables. Um, but I've added a couple more effects to make it more interesting. Uh, so to start with, um, I took the sawtooth and pushed it down a couple of octaves, added it back to itself. Um, then I go through a bank of formant filters uh, to add, uh, this is just band passes that add more um, kind of character to the sound. Then I go through distortion. Um, then a multi-band compressor to uh, emphasize the bass end, and finally a low-pass filter. Uh, so I have eight buttons here for the keyboard, and as you can hear, that's just a full scale. In this case, right now, if we're in a C major scale. Um, it's polyphonic, so I can hold down multiple buttons at once, and they um, don't interrupt each other as many as I want. Um, however, since I only have eight uh, buttons here and to make chords easier to play I have an option of triggering chords off of a single button press and So those are all the chords uh, in the C major scale um, You know, this makes chord progressions really easy. So uh, I think it's like one five four one or uh, six five four five etc um, and then uh, if you want to do a key change or do a song in a different key, I have this potentiometer over here which uh, basically just changes which key along the circle of fifths. So right now um, we're at the top position, uh, C major, um, but I can change it. So right now this is a D, A, E, B, etc. All the way to uh, F on the other end of the scale, going clockwise. Um, yeah, uh, those are all the major scales. Um, so, for example, this is uh, which one is this? this is D flat. So, and then, um, however, if you want to do a minor scale, you just need to press this button over here. So, pressing this will turn on this red light, indicating we're in minor mode. Um, uh, also, there are these four blue lights next to it, um, which you may have noticed changing as I turn this dial. And that indicates a binary representation of our position on the circle of fifths um, from the top of C. So if they're all off, there would be C, and if it's uh, 11 in binary is F. Um, but for this major mode, so if I press this button, it turns off, which means we're back in major mode. Uh, if I press it again, um, we're in minor mode now, and so that will change all the notes and all the chords. Accordingly, um, and so in effect, you have access to all twelve major uh, scales and all twelve minor scales on the circle of fifths. Um, so that's the full range of um, functionality of the keyboard. So the eight buttons here, uh, the potentiometer, and the buttons change the uh, which key you're in, and the LEDs to display which key you're in. So now for the accelerometer, there are three main functions. Um, the first you may have noticed is how I go between playing chords and playing single notes. So if it's uh, horizontal, we play chords. Um, if we go vertical, and that plays single notes. So I just hold down the button and go in between both of them. Uh, so that's the first function. And then for the second function, um, this controls the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter, which is applied at the end of the signal chain. Uh, so for example, um, it's just horizontal, it's kind of in the mid this middle sort of range. If I lower it, that lowers the cutoff frequency. If I raise it, that raises the cutoff frequency. And so this just um, enables a lot of interesting range of uh, sounds I can do here. So 
especially if I like kind of uh, vibrate it a bit. That's the second function, and then the last one is uh, motion triggered samples. Um, so this senses motion in along the uh, x, y, z axes in both directions. So if we go down the z axis, that's a kick drum hit. This uh, going to the right is a snare. Uh, this is a record scratch. Um, up is a crash with a kick drum. So just a silly little punch sound. Uh, let's see. Ooh. There we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, just a simple sample playback. Um, so the sample playback, the uh, low pass um, cutoff frequency control, and the chords to single note control, is, uh, those are all the accelerometer functions. And so when you put it all together, uh, you can do something like this. Uh, let's see. It's, um Everything it does. Um, it's a lot of fun to work on. I uh, really, really like to see um, what other people did with it if uh, they got a chance to try it. Um, but uh, in any case, um, thanks very much for checking this out, and um, I hope you all are staying safe out there.